So now we can start doing some more advanced stuff, and that would be to add some songs to these albums. Now songs would be their own table inside the database, and we're going to link a song to an album by using a foreign key. So first we're going to have to go to the top and say from SQL Alchemy import foreign key. And then in our album class we're going to add songs and set that equal to relationship. Actually, we also need to import that so that it'd be from SQL alchemy.orm import session maker and relationship. So now back in the album class, songs equals relationship, and we're going to give it a name called song. Our back ref is going to be album because in our song class, that's what we're going to refer to as our parent, which is basically what the song belongs to, and that will be an album. Then right below this, I'm going to create a new class called song um, that will also inherit from base. Our table name will be songs. ID will be a column. It will be an integer column and it will and primary key will be true. Every song will need a title. So that will be a new column, which is a string as well as an album ID. And that would be another column, which will be an integer, because that is what the ID in the album class is, an integer. And now we're going to say foreign key and then albums.id. And then you also need to make sure you still have the space.metadata.createAll that will update or sync the Python code to the database. Now I'm just going to delete these old lines over there. So to add a song, we first need to access an album. So album is going to be session and we're going to query albums. So album in there and filter by inside. We're going to say title equals back in black. And we want the first record in that query. So let's create some songs. So I'm going to say song one equals new song title. I'm going to say you shook me all night long. Album is going to be equal to this album that we just created here. Then just copy and paste song two. I'm going to call this one. What do you, what do you do for money, honey? These are just old ACDC songs belonging to this album. And then to add them, we need to say session.add. And it's once again going to be that add underscore all because we're adding multiple records. And that'll be in a list, song one and song two. And to post these changes, session.commit. So let's save and run this. And now you should see some songs in the songs table with an album ID that corresponds to the correct album. So we still have this reference to the album back in black. I'm, I'm now going to iterate over it by saying for song in album dot songs print song dot title. And notice how we never added an artist column to the song table. That is because we already have the artist in the album. So there's no need to add another artist column in the song table itself. So to access that album from the parent, we're going to say song.album. And this album right here is this back ref we made over here, which we called album. I know these albums could be a little confusing, but just know that this dot album refers to whatever name we put in here and then it's artist. And since I don't want to add these songs again, I'm just going to comment them out and save and run. And now we can, you can see you shook me all night long, ACDC. What do you do for money, honey, ACDC? And that in a nutshell is how you do foreign keys in SQL Alchemy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.